Hey, look at this new headline on the website of the well-respected global polling firm called the Pew Research Center. Quote, in nations with significant Muslim populations, much disdain for ISIS. As in, great news, everybody, Muslims hate terrorists too. Look at their survey. In Lebanon, 100% of people polled said they have an unfavorable opinion of the Islamic State. I'm not sure if it's actually 100%, but let's hold on to the dream. For some reason, they put Israel on the list, even though Israel is a Jewish state. I think it's because there's uh, more than a million Muslims in Israel, and only 4% of them say they support the Islamic State. So that's good news. I won't go through all the countries, but it's good to see that the Islamic State, the most brutal terrorist group in modern history, truly like the Nazis, it's good to know that a small minority of Muslims support them in every Muslim country surveyed. And so that's the headline, right? But hang on, is it really a small minority? I mean, take Turkey, a country of about 75 million people. 73% of Turks don't like the Islamic State, but 8% do, so that's more than 5 million supporters. Nigeria, 66% oppose the Islamic State, 14% support it. But there are more than 170 million Nigerians. So 24 million supporters there. Indonesia, the world's most populous Muslim country, 250 million people. 79% of them dislike the Islamic State. Only 4% say they support it. Only 4% only. So only 10 million people. Pakistan, only 28% were willing to say they opposed the Islamic State. 9% support it. So of people who have an opinion, it's three to one. But one out of four people with an opinion likes it. 182 million Pakistanis, so at least 16 million supporters. So let's look at that headline again. In nations with significant Muslim populations, much disdain for ISIS. Yeah, that's true. There is much disdain. There absolutely is. And on this list of countries alone, Indonesia, Turkey, Nigeria, Malaysia, 60 million Muslims told Pew Research that they support the Islamic State. 60 million. That's a bit of a different headline, isn't it? But what about Syria? It wasn't on the Pew study, but we've already shown you a survey of 900 Syrians in refugee camps in the region. It shows that 31% of Syrian refugees are against destroying or degrading the Islamic State terrorist group and 37% are opposed to the U.S.-led combat mission against it, of which Canada is a part. 41% of Syrian refugees blame the Jews or America for their security problems. Only 11% blame radical Islam. And just let me point out that none of these people would be weeded out by Justin Trudeau's wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, one-hour screening process for coming to Canada. He'll ask them to make a pinky swear as to whether or not they're terrorists as in someone who plans to kill us, but he won't ask other questions like, do you hate us? Do you support our enemies? Those are fair questions, not just for Syrian migrants. Those are questions that should be asked of every Muslim migrant who wants to come to Canada. Do you hate us? Do you hate our secular society, our separation of mosque and state, our equality of men and women? Do you hate the fact that we don't stone gays to death? None of those things is caught in a police record check but all of them are deeply illiberal ideas that we're importing to Canada by the tens of thousands. Hey, join me. Let's try and do something about it. Sign our petition at refugeepause.ca. I'm Ezra Levant.